In the next few weeks, we're going to start building Gotta Have a Racer for its next life as a race car. Instead of going straight this time, though, we're going to be focusing on autocross and a little bit of road course racing as well. Today's installation is going to make it a lot easier to pull this car through the pit area and also bring it back to the pits in case of a problem. This is Blowfish Racing's tow hook kit. This is going to fit all 2005 to 2014 Mustangs. Now this is a front kit that will mount to your front metal bumper and includes Honest as a hardware for installation. These are made right here in the USA and feature a high quality powder coating and the randomized clip and then finally the hook itself. Now, these aren't designed to drag the car out of anywhere, but if you're towing through the pits or you have a breakdown or whatever, it's the perfect way to hook a strap up and pull the car safely out of the way. For this installation, a lift or a jack and jack stands or ramps, 3 8 ratchet, 7 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, and a push pin removal tool. Now, depending on what trim level Mustang you have, the process is basically the same, but some of the details will be a little bit different. Now, in the case of Gotta Have a Race, this car obviously lived its life as a race car before, so some of the pieces are actually missing off the front end. The first thing you want to do is pull the plastic cover off, which is held on by plastic push pins. In our case, that is long gone, so we're going to start by removing these four screws. Okay, now you want to remove the screws here in the wheel well area. Normally would be three. Again, history of our car, we're missing a couple. Now once the wheel well screws are removed, you want to go underneath and unbolt the belly pan. Again, missing from our car here. Then you come up here to these, just basically pull the bumper and separate it from the fender. We're going to disconnect the marker lights on both sides and then the fog lights if equipped. Okay, with everything off now, we can carefully remove our bumper cover and safely put it aside. So the bracket's gonna mount to the actual metal bumpers. The first thing we have to do is remove the styrofoam crash pad out of the way. You're gonna do that by removing these clips. Okay, and then remove it from the car. We're ready to install the main bracket. Now at this point, you have to decide where you want the tow hook to come out. Now if you want the standard height, you can install this with the shorter carriage bolts. If you want to hang it down a little bit further, say you have a front license plate, intercooler, or on a 10 through 12 Mustang for more room with the grill, use the provided spacer and the longer bolts. In our case, we're using the shorter bolts since we actually have no lower grill on this car. We have the high flow Roush on there, so it's wide open. The bolts in place. If they don't go through smoothly, just take a little of the powder coating off, but they should go right through. Put this over. And center it. Now, as far as centering it, there are dimples here. We're just going to center it right in the middle of those dimples, but you can offset it left or right. So, if you wanted to have it further to the passenger side or further to the driver's side, anywhere in this window, you can mount it. Okay, now we're going to grab the rear bracket, grab these clips here. We're going to go on this side with the barrels facing towards the center, lined up over the holes. And install this it over the bolts at the bottom here and kind of work it up into place. Okay, and then use the supplied hardware. We're going to thread that into the clips that we just installed. This is a really cool thing that Blowfish thought of. Now, if you're running a splitter with strut rods, give you this piece here. This will actually go on here before the hook. And basically, these will give you mounts for your strut rods. In our case, we don't have a splitter just yet. We'll keep these for the future, but we're not going to install them right now. And now we're going to install the bracket for the hook. You can see this is slot. It's got several different options. We're going to start in the full forward position and then adjust it if we need to. All right, now we can install the hook itself. Slide the pin through. Again, everything is still loose at this point. 
we're gonna do now is loosely test fit the bumper to make sure the hook's where we want it. Then we'll go back and tighten everything down. That's what it looks like all the way out. My opinion, it's absolutely perfect for what we're doing. You hook it like that, it's nice and it's away from the bumper. So we're gonna leave it on the fully extended position. Now we'll pop the bumper cover back off and tighten everything down. Okay, now we go back and tighten the hardware. Now that everything's tight, we're done with the installation of the tow hook. Reinstall your bumper, your installation's finished. One thing I want to mention is that our car does have a Roush high flow lower grill, so it's wide open, making it for an easy installation of our tow hook. Now, if you do have the factory lower mesh grill, you will have to trim the grill. And if you do have certain GTs or a Boss Mustang, there is minor trimming required inside as well. The instructions detail exactly where to trim and even apply the template. While many people consider the tow hook just to be a cosmetic upgrade, our Blowfish unit looks great and it's extremely functional. And at some point in time, I'm sure this will bail us out on the track. As far as the installation goes, it's pretty straightforward. You do have to remove the bumper, but no more than about two to three hours, you'll be back on the road in no time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.